Hey, welcome back with Moss Place here uh, on a nice Saturday pizza day. And uh, we're still in the harsh, harsh world of uh, Aeon of Sands, the trail. So, um, last time we were uh, killed or severely mutilated by a bunch of giant ants, I guess. And, um, well, we'll see if we can avoid that this time. Maybe just by simply not going to that place where those ants were at. They also seemed to... I wasn't sure, maybe I walked into it or something, or they spit some kind of stuff that would leave you stuck in place. So, I think they're a bit uh, beyond my level, so to speak. Let's see... Oh, this is just at the gates, sort of the, yeah, as I said before, I don't know what to call this, courtyard of uh, and unwanted attentions, at, uh, of, uh, I forget what the place is called, to be honest, but uh, our home a town or dome or whatever. So, let's see. I don't know what that was about. But this is a bit... We went here the last time. That's where those... I thought it would be a nice little town. <laughs> Forget about that. It is not a nice little town. So... Oh, we can go this way. As well. Didn't notice that the other day. Um... I don't know. Let's go there. I'd say everything is bad. I've never felt this much heat in my whole life. The clerk drags his feet in the shadow of a large obelisk. His grandfather or a friend of his, maybe an acquaintance. Okay, let's say somebody vaguely related to him, to the degree of an apple to a turtle, is said to have been the official discoverer of this landmark. Surely the highlight of an already wondrous life. Therefore it was named Uguro the Obelisk. Interestingly, the otherwise unnamed explorer was assaulted on his way back to Pantella by some other citizens coming his way, robbed and left for the sand leeches to dispose, and nobody knew that this obelisk had been officially discovered and named. Uh, interestingly, that is not counting all other times that it was found in previous centuries and later years by any traveler passing that way with a name ready in his pocket. Aqualt, Albert, Bullsworth, The Blind, Cow Muting Center, Janice, Petulia, Three-Legged Ed. Continue or better don't. The clerk sits here in the shadow for a while, his hand gently scraping the dirt away from the surface of the obelisk. It's curious, curiously cold to the touch, more than he'd expect and very smooth, maybe because of the erosion, or maybe it's just fashion. But it's only interesting quality to Citrani, the shelter it provides is only temporary. The suns are rising more and more into the sky and the shadow narrows. With a sigh, the clerk collects his strength and resumes his travels. Get back to zigzagging the desert. Okay. I don't want to go, Satrani says. But we can go back to our... Oh, huh? Oh wait, can I drag this? Oh shit, I chose it already. I tried to drag the map. Well, we'll see what this is. A misplaced breeze, natural of some fresher region of the desert perhaps. If such regions would actually exist comes forth from the settlement in view. Still half a mile away, there is no activity between the tents that are only slowly roused by the wind, nor in the animal pen, which seems to be empty. Let's check it nevertheless. I feel lucky. Time's short and the place doesn't look safe. Let's skip it. Uh, there is no activity between the tents. Nor in the animal pen. Probably not an animal pen. Ah, oh, let's check it nevertheless. A glitter on the ground. Well, 
white hot under the sun comes in painful waves to the eye as the camp gets closer. A dozen of tattered shelters bent over and torn like deflated pots with their bellies cut and their innards in the dirt, hazily shivering the breeze. Not exactly vacation material. There's nothing to be seen, neither alive nor dead. Cetrani follows the metallic net of the animal pen for a bit. He's not sure, but it seems like someone or something lies there in a bundle at its other end. I suddenly don't care what happened here, let's go away, or let's check what is that toilet's check. Crazy eyes look at Cetrani from under a piece of cloth ripped from a tent. Then they wander aimlessly to the rhythm of their owner's low wailing. Although wild and squatting like a beast, pressing against the metal net in a corner of the pen, the figure is unmistakably stakably human. A young man with a shelter made of ruined cloth, his naked skin exposed to the elements. There's more. Mm, I'll frame some water then. Two hesitant hands meet the offered water skin, then snatch it and take it to an avid mouth. Once he is drunk as Phil, the man-boy pours the remaining water on the sand around, madly laughing. While Satrani tries in vain to take back the water skin. Are you crazy? he asks rhetorically. Are you doing that? Yeah, crazy. That's definitely crazy, right? What a nutso. The man-boy fixes his gaze on the clerks. The desert. The desert ate and now must drink its share. I've had enough of you. I'm out of here. The laugh turns soon to a feverish giggle. There's no more sense to be extracted from this strange fool, the Trani reasons. But the clerk collects his things and departs, his mind set on the still missing caravan. Fin finally grinded human bones glitter in the sand under his feet. I called it batshit crazy. What? Okay. And I lost the water skin. Nice. Go here, I guess. Trees, and where there's trees, water. After long hours in a dust storm, there's a sudden clearing in the sky and an oasis, just when it seemed all strength was spent. And of course, there is the old woman with a grim face between Cetrani and the pool. Uh, who, who are you? Nice place for an oasis. Best there is seeing water is here. Yeah, about the water. The woman points the clerk's eyes to the wooden pole, ending in a glass blade that's sitting on her lap. Cannot drink you, no, no. Trani imagines that however impaired its wielder, the weapon looks vicious and he's not feeling particularly skillful at dodging currently. What if we trade something in return for a skin of water? I'm not entirely convinced that blade is for more than show. Before the clerk can take one more breath, the woman still sitting rotates the blade effortlessly in her hand, lunges for Cetrani's torso and unexpectedly Turns at the very last moment, piercing a bit of skin on his arm, instead of his whole heart. Cetrani feels decidedly convinced now he's not so eager to test the woman's skill anymore. Ah, you handle your weapon very well, nice weapon. It is mine, big reward, was Kalka, great chief. Is everything you know, the woman... Pauses, then she grabs a handful of sand from where she's sitting, rises it above her head and let it fall slowly onto her hair. Trani is thirsty and puzzled, but mostly thirsty. Maybe it's not the best of time to stand on ceremony. Nah, better leave while intact. Let's try to remove the staff from her grip. Let's do it. The clerk, exasperated, closes in on the woman. He has not the time to consider how to handle her. As she's standing already and staff in hand, she seems to concentrate on her surroundings. There's already a brief pause, then the sand around them comes alive. Fight for life? Oh shit. 
Why am I stuck in the middle of a f desert? Ah, oh, there's rats here too, come on. That's kind of mean. Oh. I have done this before, bitch. Oh shit. Fuck was that? Fuck, I'm nearly dead. Oh. Ah, fuck it. Only two kinds of creatures get fun in the desert. Bedouins and gods, and you're neither. Lawrence of Arabia. Right. Continue. Mm. Oh shit! What? The fuck? That's where it saved. Let's try that again. Maybe I can dodge it immediately. No. <laughs> Other way? Try one more time. Yeah. Okay. 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 Probably stuck though. No. Okay. It's kind of odd that it auto saved there. Why would it do that? When I had one little bar of health left. That's fucking stupid. Right. Uh, this, I guess. Yeah, this time I'm not. Oh, can I? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong key. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Right. Um, there. What does that mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my thing, I know. This electric cable. Oh, I can put that there. Right? I guess you can kind of whip somebody with an electric cable. There's no use, I'm doomed, doomed. Oh, what's that? The clerk turns around as if someone's replying, but nobody did. The desert doesn't seem too sympathetic to his struggle. In fact, it looks more bored than anything. With its flat features, if you don't factor in all the dunes, which I don't, it doesn't make it any more interesting, just longer. To the north, the sand goes on as far as he can see and way past the horizon forever. Nobody ever came back from there and none ever came from there either. Yeah, we've seen this bit. Certain that is good enough. A reason for Satran to conclude that no caravan was abducted that way. Feeling a little as doomed, the clerk resumes walking in some other direction. Yep. Um, no. Oh, there I guess, because that's where the ants are. That's way worse than the woman even. Oh, this goes straight to the woman. Right, who are you? Mies Kalka, afraid? No, Mies not stupid, huh? No, Mies neither. You don't near, okay? Well, why should you be afraid of me? I'm harmless. Oh, the pole again. Cannot drink. Will I do it? I don't want to try it. Could do better. What if we trade something? I have all everything I want. Oh, pick something else. More than would have imagined. Perfect, I am. All the while, maybe for a good reason, he grips your blades have more firmly. Ha, no. Uh,
But so far he sees only to make do with what he has in his pack and go or to fight the old woman to make away with what's hers. Out with the old. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try it. Uh... Fuck, that was all that thing was good for? the same there yeah okay right this again that fucking cable I could use it once why am I think go this way I guess won't give the guy the Oop. Mm. Oop. see what that is Ache grabs his heart. I wish this game was just, you know, like Might and Magic, where you can just walk around yourself. I'm not a big fan of just reading dialogue boxes like this. If that goes on a lot, I might not stick around long for this. Because I do like the dungeon thing, but this is kind of, ugh. In my opinion. <laughs> Sorry. Ake grabs his heart as Satrani looks at the second most painful image a man from a tree tribe can possibly look upon. The remains of another city's glass dome. Okay. Glass cities, each with its sacred tree, whether an unsupporting sap or a drained giant. Countless have died in the long millennia of dust. Many have been forgotten, few are remembered by the descendants of their few survivors as well as their enemies. Cities competing for the same routes and resources raided by the same nomad parties. Seems a rather exhausting job. But none ever received pilgrimages or visitors among the dome people. Too scattered, yes, and quickly reclaimed by the sands, they say. But the main reason is the silent apology with the warning behind it that this forgotten city is whispering to the clerk now with the voice of them all. Dude, are they whispers of people and tragedy or do they speak of buried treasure? The Trani suddenly is reminded of stories told by the rare drifters coming to Pantella, of fabled and arcane objects that the desert sometimes regurgitates. Objects of old interesting <clears throat> from an archaeologist's point of view. Yes, archaeologic archaeol archaeologically valuable. Probably I should go in, recover what I can fit in my pockets, a little detour. The clerk looks waiting for an objection that doesn't come from the dead mouths of houses and the skeletal hands of desiccated trees. Uh, look at what I do in the interest of anthropology. Sure, oh, um, the clerk's honest and humanistic concern is very rudely cut short. 
though by the sudden appearance of some oversized critters and parasites. Best to pay attention now. Oh fuck, I have to fight again. Uh, right, that's similar to that other. Crap. I'm not gonna survive that either, of course. I don't know how many there are of these things, but oh, I'm surrounded. Yeah. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see where the continue is. <laughs> this fucking game. It's there! Why? Maybe I clicked it or something? Right. Okay. Outside city. Here we are again. For the tenth time. Hey, would you like to explore a sci-fi fantasy universe through the eyes of a humble taxi driver? Taxinaut is a game for PC with a huge open world galaxy where you can do just that. You can fly on planets, over alien cities and landscapes, land at bars, diners, shops and many other weird and wonderful places. Take off into space and fly to different planets or other star systems. Find equipment and abilities to help you deal with the difficulties of navigating alien worlds. Taxinaut features a completable 30 plus hour storyline about finding a friend lost in the galactic underworld. Taxinaut is now available on Itch.io and Steam Early Access. Right, right, wait, 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 what? Would I brought them or something? I don't think so. Um, uh, well, go the obelisk way again, I guess. Uh, uh, wait, uh, well, yeah, I know. Blah 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 blah. Um, go there. I'll leave that fool alone. This thing, stop! Stop blinking at me, or. Yeah, 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 no, no, I'm short. Get the hell out of here. A woman, she can keep her thing. She's too strong for us. I don't know how she killed me that last time anyway. Uh, me is not. Is you deaf, but you no go near me, water, none, or will mix with your blood, that's no good. A woman's concern is good when Satrani makes it his own. He would hate to see his blood getting in the water or anywhere else except where it's supposed to be. I don't want to foul the water, only drink it. The woman points to close eyes the wooden pole ending in the glass blade that's sitting on her lap. Oh yeah, can I drink, blah blah blah. Trade, I'm not entirely convinced. She says everything. Uh, you surely have perfect the fine art of conversation. Sure, you have trees, but pets, you don't have a sand crawler pet. I can see that, but what if you would want to visit your friends? Kalka has no friends. Come on, with your sunny disposition, I'm sure you have a lot. The woman narrows her eyes, letting her hand caress the blade stab on her lap. You, you mean to be Kalka's friend? You, true? Is only too eager. Citron is only too eager to for. Of course, let's be friends. You, me, the water, best friends forever. Okay, says the woman standing up. Here's start friendship ritual. 
That said, she charges Citrani's stamina and blade pointed at his heart. Avoid being killed ritual. Let's go. What does that mean? Am I supposed to just not attack? Not just get out of here. This fucking woman. Here then. Oh, there is a. There is a fucking sand creep as well. Um, shit. Surrounded by shit again. Ugh. Where is everybody? No, don't go in there, cause... See, you get this shit. Ah. Uh, there's loads of them, actually. Oh, fuck me. Probably one behind me. How am I supposed to do this? Ah, I have these fucking bushes. <sighs> well, there's life, there's hope. Yep. Nice. The fuck now? Mm. What's this? <laughs> this is one, okay. Can I bring you guys? Nope. A way to talk or something? Nah. Yeah. I don't even know what this does. Elemental air cleanses air mana. Oh. Yeah. Um. Uh, put that there? No. Don't have much else. Piece of flint. Just a rock. Oh yeah, the wench stick. That's not better. Oh yeah, then there's the whole deal of... What the fuck? Oh, can I just drop that? Oh, what? Uh, can I drop a stone? Maybe not here. Can I? What's this? No. I need some meat. Put that in there. That's not allowed. Do I have pants or something? And just sling. Uh, yeah, another piece. Do I have any more meat or a mushroom, whatever? Is this I don't want this. I'm not allowed to put it here either. The fuck. Sweet fruit. Gives dizziness. I want to equip that fucking staff, but I can't, because this is full. What's this? Covers. It's a waste, but I want to equip the staff, and I can't drop anything. Ridiculous. Probably don't get the dynamics here. Obelisk. Yep, 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 no. Then what? Go here. That fool. 
skip him. Yeah. Goodbye. And go there. Just pass her. That's possible. Oh god. Please and where there's trees, we only have blah blah blah. Nice place for an oasis. Okay, I just want to get the fuck out of here. You have trees or pets, I can see that, but if you want. No, no friends. Ugh, how about that blade? Uh, let's try to remove Sev. Nah, better leave. God damn it. Travel on. Yes, sir. Fucker. Um, I can go there or to the ends. Oh, that's easy enough. Or was that an option? I don't know. A normal camp, or a nomad camp, a, a while since abandoned, tents lie bent and half covered with sand, empty. The remains of a fireplace are deliberately scattered and down there. The remains of a sand treading lizard half eaten and the bones of another. This doesn't look like a place where you want to stay for long. <laughs> really? Oh, oh shit. Why am I always being attacked by fucking multiple fuckers at the same time? Can't even keep track of... Uh, oh, what's this? That could be good. Fuck. And then you get surrounded. And then you just screw. this game <laughs> this might be too hard for me also all that reading that's sort of okay when you're just playing it but if you you know have to read it out all Eesh. right let's see no oh god I didn't save anywhere again did I what's this Oh, this thing, right? Shit, wrong button. Can I just get the fuck out of here? No. Oh, there's that thing. Can I go in here or anything? No. Nope. Just run for those things. Okay. Why are they all so tough? Jesus Christ, it's like a snail. <laughs> oh, that one died. Thank God, one died. Jeez. Oh no, that's no good. I'm nearly dead. Again. Anything? Uh, that didn't do much. Get the fuck out of here. No. No. Uh. Oh 
Can I save this? Save. Uh, delete that one. New. Man, I don't know if this is... Maybe this game is for like... Dungeon crawl hardcore veterans. Sorta. Of. That's a dead one. Save that. Why not? <laughs> we have to... Just let me click on the save. And save over it. No time for that shit. I'm fighting leeches here. But this is the beginning. Suppose I can leave and keep that sword or whatever that is. Oh, he has some shit. I think I'm full though. Oh shit. You guys suck. That's too dead. Save. Save everything. Delete. New save. Yes. Fuck me. Kind of fascinating that it's so brutal. Like this as well. My inventory is full. Of course. Can I stack these? No. This fucking piece of paper, it only is a reminder. Here. That's... And I take this. What is it? A tattered tunic. No, actually, here. You take all that crap. Worker tunic, no. What is this? Roll of bandages, yes. Piece of flint. Nah. What does that do? Sweet fruit. Red mushroom. A stone. A sling. That's kinda... Could be handy. I haven't tried that yet. What's this again? A mission note, a tattered tunic, a dead body, magnetized iron. Yeah, how do I get to... I don't want that, I want the magnetized iron. Fucking okay, stupid. Hey, it picks. So I can't pick up the mag... Wait, can I... Oh, I can. Okay. This is the iron. Oh wait, is there anything else here? A dead body. Yeah, you can have my note. Put this on it as well. Ah, so you can hold it like that. What does that do? Fresh elemental air energy. I still don't... No, like, character stats, mana, mana class none, I think I found, what is that, this thing that allows you to take on some kind of mana class, one of those things, oh, this, right, <laughs> I can torture this game. <laughs> Apparently people enjoy this actually, a lot. I thought this was kind of not very well known, but 
I was just looking on YouTube. See if, like, oh, well, let's see if somebody else has played it. But plenty of people have played it. So, to say that, don't go by my. Uh... Okay. I hope the the type that stays dead. Eat. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, go. Don't go by my whingy commentary. I mean, it, you might like this a lot. I'm liking it a bit more now because things are going a bit better. <laughs> That's, I don't know about that reading though. Uh, go away. No, don't do it. See, now we're friends. Like that old woman. Can I go in there? No. Doesn't work like that. Oh, what's this? Protects himself from two damage. Oh, a piece of raw meat. We have room for it. Can I eat it right away? No. No. Well, ugh. If I put my stone here, put this here, then eat it. Then I can pick my stone up. I don't even know. What do I need all these for? Are they what? Or why are they green? Water skin. This is a water skin. Charges too. Are they empty or something? God knows. Thank God for these fences. <laughs> Everywhere. What am I doing here? Save? Oh, sure. Let's map this out, I guess. The A desert camp. Oh, there's one of them fucking things again. Two of them. can't even <laughs> that is kind of fun and uh, you can sort of like try to work your way around them or to flank them and stuff oh fuck no don't do that that's bad for you because I don't like it and then I have to kill you. No. Oh. Oh. That was... I thought I died or something. That was... <laughs> I mean, what else could happen? That was the last of the sand leeches, at least for a while. Along with it, some human remains. A nomad from the camp dragged into a quicksand and left to die of exposure while the bugs ate him from below. 
Nasty dad. A bony hand is still trying to hold on to a bundle of the man's possessions. A sling and a fancy rebreather mask. Citrani still has a look around, but he soon gets bored with the place. Time to resume the search. Oh, here we go again with this. Now stay a bit more. I mean, there's no... I don't slowly lose health or something, do I? Save this. Delete. New save. Should have named that one. Maybe. I haven't mapped out the whole thing. But there's probably not much left. Oh, the ring. Of course, I can't take it, because... What? Reinforced sling. Sling. Oh my lord, this fucking... Oh, I still have tattered tunics. Why? Here, let's put them down. It what? I'm confusing myself. Uh, tattered tunic. Here. Oh. Because you're fucking useless. Knife. I need dagger. Oh, knife is better, is it? Three to four damage. Yeah, here the tiny dagger can go. And dress made the rags. <laughs> Fuck off, too. <laughs> What's this? We have sweet fruit. Can you stack? No. And a mag magnetized iron. Yeah, nice. Alright, now I can pick up this ring. It's probably also useless. What does it do? Ring. Agility plus one. Agility plus one. I mean, can you sell things in this game, or is it even any use keeping stuff? I mean, that you're not going to use, really, for the value? Probably not. Oh, that's one of those pipes. Well, we'll keep it. Is it better than one? Three to five damage. No, this does four to nine. This thing is good. An iron curved blade. Pull down two seconds. Minus two stamina. Okay, two point eight seconds. Nah. DPS one point three times two. Three to four damage. Yeah. That's still less than this anyway. Let's have a look here. Sling. Oh, what happened? Oh yeah, that's in the party stage, or this thing. Sure. Why can't I put things in there? Kind of odd. Like, oh, advanced gas mask. Yeah. And once I take it, I have to keep it in here. So why would I do that? Can't see though from here. But, you know, how good it is. I suppose I could drop it if I don't want it. Okay, fellas. Let's see. One at a time. Uh, gas mask. Agility minus five. What does this thing do? None of that. Just agility plus one. And protection plus one. Intelligence plus 3, mana minus 4, strength plus 2, protection plus 3. God damn it. But well, why the agility minus 5? I'll keep it on me. Yeah, nice. Okay, next piece of shit. Uh, where's my. Oh, yeah, here. My god. What are you? 
a reinforced sling. Right click and right. To shoot with the sling. You still need rocks, I think. Plus four agility. And this one is plus one. And minus one stamina. Cooldown to 0.4 seconds. That's the same. But this one has plus four agility. So we could get rid of this one. Because we have a better one. That's smart. Like what's with all these mushrooms? Or leaves. But there's a lead pipe. If shit breaks though. You'd be glad you have that. I won't throw anything away until I have to. Let's just do it like that. Oh, sorry. Um, back to this, I guess. When I have a par party members, the others will fight automatically, I assume. Oh, what's this? Do sand damage. Oh, that, is that a better... Oh, fuck me. Uh, protect plus two desert vest. Oh, that's just raw meat. I was reading this. Now uh, raw meat. Well, I can eat it. Ach, let, do I need to eat it? No, I don't. What does it do? It doesn't say. Ah, oh, forget about the raw meat. No, I think we can map this fucker out. This, this a bit, but... Just going over that, so I know I've been there. with nothing on it some nothing can I go in there um, have to turn around no nah, I don't think you can it's just here to annoy you That you can go in there, I think. Walk around. Um, see. Is this a door even? And again, no way of knowing until I drop something. Let's drop the fucking flint. Right, take the shoes. Shoes. Oh yeah. Would buy these shoes. Pair of slippers. <laughs> Pair of desert boots. Yes. He drops the slippers. We take the flint back. Go in there. Oh, it looked like you could, but with this, maybe. I'm glad I went there. That has a lot of stat boosts. That was not a mistake. For once, say this is just nothing. Yeah. Right. I think I've seen everything. Um. So well, let's get out of here. Caravan isn't here anyway. Right? 
Ah, I never missed anything. Good. Oh, check that a bit. Be nice of him to say that you've killed all the sandworms or whatever they were. You don't have to worry about it anymore, walking around. You so suddenly walk into one or whatever. Nah. See anything obvious? She still think you can go into that somehow. Probably can't. Would be one of those things. This game. Anything is possible, I guess. Some kind of secret switch. A switcheroo. Completely doing this for no reason, probably. Don't see anything in there, anyway. But that body. Would have something on it. They, no, it says a dead body. Oh yeah, this is just nothing. Right. We're out. Let's save it actually. Delete. New. No. Right. This place makes a tranny feel uncomfortable. What? Yeah, we're li stay a bit longer. I just leave. It's a trony. Um, I wish you could see a bit more of the map. I know there's a lot of things I wish. Okay. Let's go to the mushrooms or the palm trees. The nomad caravan trails slowly on the sand crest in the distance. It has most assuredly spotted Satrani by now, but there's no alarm, it looks peaceful enough so far. Yeah, sure. In any case, the tricky terrain would not allow the clerk a fast escape, but neither a quick pursuit of the nomads. Uh, let's hope for the best and be ready for the worst. He may not have found Pantella's caravan yet, but he's great at stumbling over other people's caravans. As he still thinks about whether he should approach the strange or not, the ca caravaneers greet him from afar. Man from the city. Uh, dogs of the desert. Man of the sands. The man smiles. Come mix your water with ours. You don't have anything to fear from us. Mix your my water with... Nah, I don't know. Relax. Satrani re relaxes just a little. As the caravan stops and sets up camp for a brief rest on the trail. The nomad continues, we are but traders headed for the uh, ravines in the east, where the long caravans meet. We will make good trades there, but what are you doing so far from your tree? Ah, funny you mentioned that. The clerk tells an abridged version of his story of the search for the town caravan, skimmed of the possibility of raiders and nomad bandits. Uh, the nomad bows as if that omission was not needed. Wait, the clerk tells an abridged version of his story of the search for the town caravan skimmed of the possibility of raiders and events, blah blah. The nomad bows as if that omission was not needed. We have not seen the caravan you seek, but camps in the region might have. Oh, you wouldn't by a chance give away yours, right? What? Shrugging, the caravaneer moves to another topic. Tree man, do you want to trade? We would offer you much for your sacred tree seeds. What about this wen staff? Well, but if the, the axe breaks or some shit. What about this wen staff? This is good workmanship. I can give you some excellent spell components in exchange, like a feather of a groa bird. Or a little bag of saltpeter. What do you say? How the fuck am I supposed to know what this shit is? <laughs> now I'll keep the staff. 
The man is disappointed. Yeah, so I made the right choice. The possibility of a profitable deal has vanished. He politely salutes Citrani, sticking to the etiquette to a fault in the unforgiving weather. Then the caravaners shoulder again their burden and slowly depart. The clerk resumes his walk, slowly distancing them until they disappear behind the dunes. Well, that was happy. Is that where the... Uh, I'm not sure. Oh no. What's there? It's not where the... No, that's not where the ants are. That was here. Uh oh. Sheltered by the low slopes nearby a pit, or rather a dangerous sinkhole, survives the continuous attack of the sand and not... God almighty, I have a real hard time reading these sentences. Because I'm an idiot. Sheltered by the low slopes nearby, a pit, or rather a dangerous sinkhole, revives the continuous attack of the sand. A number of weathered stakes grow around it, like fangs and ruined ropes. You see this? With the comma and the... A number of weathered stakes grows around it, like fangs, and ruined ropes are tied to them. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's me that doesn't know how to do English punctuation. Must be. Creepy. The trolley looks at the dark mouth, wondering when he's startled by a voice booming out of it. <laughs> I just can't do it right. The trolley looks at the dark mouth, wondering when he's startled by a voice booming out of it. I'm kind of thirsty, you know. What the fucking hell. I said I'm kind of thirsty. The voice really seems to be coming out of the gaping hole, distorted from its depth. Well, me, I'm not drinkable. You don't expect I'm going to water you, right? Well, there's somebody in there, obviously, you dickhead. Uh, what are you? There's a pause. When the voice speaks again, it sounds surprised. Me? Alright. Oh, a name. I don't use one myself, I guess. Okay, you can call me Courtney. And who are you, sweetie? Courtney. <laughs> well, I'm Citrani, an undrinkable, inedible clerk of Pantella. How's life? Well, apart from a bad toothache, the lack of a dentist, the whole dying of thirsting, and the damn tourists throwing money in the mouth, life is good. Say, how much water do you carry again? Money? As an amateur dentist, I can operate on you for free. Tourist? What's a tourist? Filthy bugs with big eyes and clicky noises. Listen, have you seen a caravan pass in this way in the last two weeks? Maybe. Will you give me your water if I have? Forget it. Well then, no caravan has passed this way ever. I don't think I like you very much. I'm going. Enjoy your lonely... Why can't I give him water? I knew it, another tourist. Well, don't expect me to be here when you crawl back, dehydrated and thirsty, as for directions. I can only leave. I didn't want that. Can I go back to him? What the fuck? Not only do your choices lead to hard consequences, but they also force a hard choice. <laughs> like, I can't give him any water. I think the first time I could or something. But Oh, and there's nowhere to go past here either. Is there? I can only go back. The yeah, fuck. It's another. No. Okay, there then. Maybe I'm more of a match for those things now. <coughs> or the woman. The light ling is perfectly still for an instant. A f tiny fiery dot on the. Flat horizon, its flames burning indistinct shapes in the furthest distance. Shiny white hot giant knights on fantastic mounts clashing with whirling red beasts with many legs without a sound. As long as they don't come near me, they fade and ebb in a deforming, effacing dance. Then the purple shroud above finally drops down to suffocate the last sun. The shadow rushes in from all sides into the plains. Only the dark remains. Petrani swallows his disquiet in silence. 
night she never liked them much they come whenever they please and they make you feel afraid of the big nothing outside your glass dome well there's the cool air that's definitely a plus but when you live in the shade of a giant tree you don't suffer the brunt of the suns the suns hmm. and i like to sleep during the day too Indeed, concealed by the tree's foliage, if you are lucky to be a clerk, you end up taking many pleasant naps anyway. In fact, for whatever reason, nobody seems to pay too much attention to you except for when you walk too close to the market stalls. That's when the dealers seem to eye you with concern. I explained that it was an honest mistake. I explained that, okay. Out here, however, a big nothing would be a comfortable notion, instead of the possibility of horrible beasts attacking you unseen. Luckily nights are brief too. Whichever sun sets, the other one will rise soon. Ah yeah, so it is on another planet. Because there's two suns. Wait for the sun. Waiting. Waiting. Yes. Don't give me any more waiting. Fuck me. <laughs> waiting for you to see. Whoops, sorry, wrong door. What? Oh. The second son, the harsh master, finally unsheets its cruel blades, piercing the mist. Birding on the sands. On second thought, the idea of being silently assaulted in the night and unexpectedly being killed without realizing what was happening and what did the deed looks not that frightening anymore to Citrani. As the nascent light crudely unveils with great detail of gore and dried blood, a large sand crawler mouth gaping open and dripping bile so very close to his face. Jump, jump away from there. No. This shit again. These things are vicious. Takes ages. Shit. Satrani pants at the exertion, moving his eyes anxiously left and right, preparing himself for yet another ambush, but none comes. He looks at the gory animal that remains on the sand. That, that was literally too close. And, uh, entirely too colorful. Luckily, I have not yet had breakfast, dinner, though. Burp. Miles from there, a chirping morning bird joyfully greets the new day. By spiraling upward into the air. Soon it is burned to a crisp by the scorching sun rays and scattered in ashes on the orange plains. At the same time elsewhere, a slow sand turtle, unaware that a night came and passed, scuttles at a slow, steady pace towards a single gigantic tree covered in glass, while somewhere else still, mayhem is scripted and carried out by unseen hands. Okay, at the very same instant, at all these momentous events happen, the clerk adds more color to the floor at his feet with yesterday's dinner. Um, there's something beneath my artwork. Trani tentatively waves off his brand new puke from something half buried in the sand. Then with trembling hands he grabs it as the desert returns the favor by regurgitating it. It's a bronze sword. A magnificent sword of vomit. Plus one. The clerk staggers at this magnificent discovery. Then a bit shaky, he resumes his travel. I got a bronze sword of vomit. Can I save here? Yes, I can. I won't. I'll delete this one. Uh, bronze sword of vomit. Oh yeah, I won't be able to see how good that is until I drop something. 
I don't think I can do that in the desert. Right. Let's do that. That's where the grandma is. That's the camp. Have I been there? Yeah, that's the one where I found uh, my current weapon, wasn't it? That I just went there. Oh golly gosh. Um, go that way again. He's some kind of wizard anyways. Let's see. Oh luckily I don't have to go in there. Not this stuff. I think that's still too hard. A large flat area. Yeah. We've seen this. Okay. Finger like structures. Only ghostly sting, blah, blah blah blah. Oh, yeah, what did I do the last time? Examine a large heap of dirt. Look at the distant structure. Sonic walks cautiously towards the low structure at the other end of the clearing, with the uneasy feeling of being observed. Who or what may be watching him, he cannot say. He's almost in the middle of the area when a couple of giant, strange ant like creatures, the size of small carriages, emerge in perfect silence from the nearest spires. Oh, that's what it is like a giant ant colony. Normal sized carriages, looks to me. Moving quickly between him and the still far building, one of them grabs a pile of metal scraps weighing several tons, just as effortlessly as an ant carrying a crumb, and crashes it thunderously into a neck of the path, blocking the access to his destination. To face one of them at the time possible, the clerk thinks. More than that, suicidal. Satrine decides to retreat slowly to avoid being cornered. Fight for life. Uh oh, seen this shit before. Okay, where are we? I don't even know what the... See, they do this shit. They throw stuff at you. What the hell is that? Probably dangerous for me again. Uh oh. Oh, I killed one. Not impossible. Yep. Another one. Bites the dust. Uh oh. I'm getting confused. Where is it? Check. Did I hit that one? Oh. Dead. Yes. What the fuck is that? Let's save. All right. Doing a bit better. It was worth all the reading. <laughs> What's this fucking thing? Oh yeah, of course. I'll put the place of flint here. And then this. A few silica crystals. Left hand. Elemental water. Yeah, but. <laughs> Can I just use it? No, you have to. 
Okay, I still haven't... You need to convert your class, so your class needs to be the same. Will it? Still mana class none. Or will that happen? I don't get it now. Will I leave the flint here then? Oh, there's also this. The bronze sword. Let's check that for a sec as well. What will we drop here? Wheat fruit. The cheap sling. And then a look at the sword. Probably good. Is it? 2.5, 3 to 6 damage. 1.8. Cool down minus two stamina. Four to nine. Two second cooldown. So I would say this is better. Minus two stamina. The same. Well this has a little agility boost as well. Plus this is two handed I think, is it? No, oh, right hand. It isn't. Well, I'm definitely keeping that. When I drop one stone instead of the sling. Like this, if I use this, see what happens. I did, like there's a little, oh, that's a little bit of mana poisoning, is it? Oh, after I use it, I'm now elemental water. Right. So and this thing right, I can use that now. Do I have to left hand? Right. <laughs> oh um, sorry. Click escape again to get out of the menu. I don't think I've killed everything here. Actually, let's save. Lead. Kinda hate that. Like, oh, well, what if it crashes the moment you delete? And you have deleted your old save. Oh shit. Okay. <gasps> Can I walk in there? Do this without getting. Yeah. Oh. What is it? What is this? A kind of metal sprout. An unnatural plant. Spitting strange fire. Well, I can aim it or something. Right. You. Uh. uh oh. Well. Shit. I'd want that. Shit. Quick. Fuck. Mm. Uh oh. Don't fail me now. 
I'm afraid that thing will break. Fuck, how many are there now? There's one less. Shit. All dead? What is this? A... You see nutrients tube. A nutrients tube. Right? Take that. Oh. Actually, let's save it. So, yes, this is not going too bad. You know what? It's like, it says here, 50 minutes, but uh, as usual, I put my timer way too late, so I'd say we're well over an hour. I think I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it here, I think. And uh, I'll see you next time, I hope. Thanks for watching. Bye.